Thursday, and sorry I am late, I'm about almost 15 minutes late, but I was having some serious technical difficulties. My webcam, I think, officially died a miserably a miserable death. So um, I am now on my phone and it, we're going to get started. So today we're going to talk about leads and how we can use AI to help you generate leads. But before I get started, let me introduce myself. I am Sunday Gardener and I come to you on Tuesdays and Thursdays talking all things launching and operating a successful travel business through automation, technology, tools, hacks, you name it, that's what we're about. So today we're going to talk about how you can create a lead magnet. And if you don't know what a lead magnet is, I uh, akin it to a stranger offer. It's a reason that somebody will raise their hand and say, I am interested in your services. And what we want to do is give them a compelling reason why to do that. And so how many of you have stranger offers out there. Let me know in comments if you do have a stranger offer or an opt-in offer that you're using. A lot of travel advisors like to use guides like travel guides. They like to use packing lists, checklists of some sort. Um, but if you are looking for a powerful way to connect with your audience on a upcoming trip that you're going to sell, we want to potentially have a customized lead magnet or offer stranger offer for our clients that's going to connect to the destination or group trip or signature itinerary that you intend to sell so what we're going to do is we're going to actually create one using a prompt that i've created and if you're inside of my facebook group you have this prompt as a gift from me so to join our facebook group you're going to just want to uh, click on this link right here that is available and then I'm going to also just pause for a second and make sure that we are live in all of the places that we need to be live in because I literally was having quite a bit of, of difficulty. So let me get, let me. Just make sure that I'm in live in our Facebook group. All right. Perfect. Great. All right. So everybody can see me. That's perfect. All right. And so um, if you are new to our Facebook group, our new AI for Travel Advisors Facebook group, you're going to want to join that group. And to do that, I'm going to put in the chat where you can join that group, because as a part of joining that group, what I've included is a is this guide that we're going to actually go over the first prompt today. So that is available to you all in um, the chat. Let me go into the Facebook group and then uh, my normal Facebook group and then just give you guys the link. Actually, I put it in the message of this chat, so you should have it. All right. so. We're going to get started. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do before you jump into any prompt, and if you are new to me, you're going to hear me say this a lot, particularly when it comes to prompting or using AI or using any sort of technology to help you write content, is you're going to have a really good frame of reference of who you're writing for. And so what I mean by that is, let's say, and if you guys want to make this interactive and you want to put in comments what um, destination you'd like me to use as your prompt, as the destination, I can do that. Let me get the Facebook group chat up and see if I can actually multitask. Um, I think I can. Oh, and I see that you guys see me. So, all right not trip specific. All right. I do see you. I've got, and I'm multitasking successfully, which is great. So I think finally, ladies and ladies, I have like mastered this whole 
trying to go live in multiple places simultaneously. I, it's still taking me like 20 minutes to figure it out, but I think I'm almost successful in doing it. Like this has been my Achilles heel for the last several weeks trying to figure out how to do this. All right, so I think I have both YouTube and Facebook chat up so that I can see you. Yes, I do. Hallelujah, I did it. So <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, there's two things I'm technically challenged with, and that is Facebook Live <laughs> and faxing. And so I have to put faxing on my list. All right, so let's see if I can get, um, all right, somebody wants to give me Jamaica, Portugal, all right, so Angela, I don't know what your ideal client is, but um, uh, Danielle, I sort of know who your ideal client. If you just want to give me a couple of key words for your ideal client in chat, I will use that as my example. And so what I'm going to do is share my screen. So this is the, uh, the, the offer for uh, digital for destination signature trips uh, prompt that I've given you guys. So if you are in that AI for travel advisors group, you can download this guide and this guide is here. And we're gonna actually go over the first one. And so let me give you a little bit of background as to what the value proposition of this guide is to do. This guide is intended to help you create the content for your destination funnel from the offer, the stranger offer, all the way to the email series that you need in order to promote your destination. So Danielle wins the prize today. I'm gonna to use her um, ideal client and her destination as the means by which to do this first prompt, which is let's get some ideas on for Danielle's Portugal for her women over 50, retired with no kids, rich aunties. I, I totally remember that. Danielle totally loved the idea. Rich aunties concept. What kind of opt-in um, offer can we generate or create for her? But let's start with some ideas. So before, before she picks like just one randomly, let's use AI to pick what potential options are available. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using, and my camera is in my way, so I cannot necessarily see. We're going to use AI to um, define, uh, before I jump into AI, if you guys don't have ChatGPT, you don't know what ChatGPT is, you don't really know what AI is, let me just tell you, first place you want to go is chat gpt.com i think that is the url for it it is yeah chatgpt.com if you don't have an account you're going to need to uh, create yourself an account i'm on the pro version the paid version which is 20 dollars a month and what i will tell you it is the best 20 dollars that i've ever spent i am just now getting into um gemini claude um, there's another one that I just, that is more statistical and actually will search the internet. I can't think of the name of it right now. Just discovered it this morning. Um, so I'm a little behind on my AI research, but I will be doing a video in the next couple of days around the five best AI tools out there that I'm using. And I'm going to go over these particular search um, conversational tools. And so I use ChatGPT primarily. I know some of you guys are using um, uh, Voyager AI, which is the travel specific AI component. Love Voyager. I do think it's a great resource for travel advisors. I still use ChatGPT because I need a broader range than just travel. However, if you are okay with just having or having a very focused travel focus, then Voyager AI is also. I have um, a link for you all later. If that's something that you're interested, just let me know in comments, type Voyager, and then I will get you the link for that. All right, so with that context, you'll need an account with ChatGPT, or you could use Gemini, any of the conversational tools that you like, this prompt will work in any of those. All right, so the first thing that you are going to do is, you need to have two things in mind, really three things in mind when using the prompts that I'm giving you. You need to know who your ideal client is, at least have some words about who they are. Danielle has given us um, some 
uh, information about who her ideal client is. You have to know where you want to go, right? So even if you don't have a specific resort in mind, that's fine. Just give us a destination um, uh, in terms of context of where we want to start, like creating this idea list from. And then what do they want, right? So I didn't ask Danielle that, but I'm going to sort of ad lib it. So those are the three things that you need when utilizing this guide and this prompt. Know who it is that we want to be talking to, know where you want to go, and then also know what they're looking for and why they can't get themselves out of town or why they would avail themselves of using your services. So I'm going to take those three things. I'm going to go, I'm going to find my, um, I'm going to find my uh, document, which I think it is right here. And I'm going to copy the prompt that is in this gray space. And you know what? I, I just literally was messing with this prompt. So the version that's out there, you all may not have this version. So I promise you after this training, I will save this version out to the lake. So you have the updated, uh, absolute updated prompt that I just did. I was doing some testing. I added some additional stuff that would help humanize it. And I'm just really in love with it. So let's see it in action. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to use it in ChatGPT in a new conversation. So hopefully everybody can see my screen okay. All right. So this you don't need to really edit anything except for everything after the equal sign so i'm going to take what um uh danielle gave me in the comments let's see if i can to do this so she gave me rich aunties she said her ideal client is that and then they want their foodies they want Uh, love they are foodies <laughs> are foodies and love culture love culture and then the destination I think you said was Portugal you want to do Lisbon specifically so let's do Lisbon instead of Portugal directly however I'm gonna do Portugal directly Danielle just because I want to see what kind of Portugal um directly all right and then i'm going to push enter and then we're going to let ChatGPT do its thing all right so now while it's doing its thing let me just explain to you kind of what the prompt, the anatomy of this prompt and what you get and what has been written. This top part really sets the, the tone for the way that it will write the prompt. If any of you guys have used ChatGPT and you've been doing this over the last couple of months, you'll notice that ChatGPT sometimes is real verbose and uses a lot of language that's not like the word verbose is one of my favorite words and it talks, ChatGPT talks like I do. <laughs> so sometimes I'm really okay with it, but you need to break things down. Like people don't need a bunch of complicated, you know, language or words or sentence structure. So using Hemingway's way as a rule sets the stage for how ChatGPT will get deliver the responses to you. The other thing is, is that we want to humanize the responses as much as uh, as possible. So it doesn't sound chat GPT ish or AI ish. And then we do want it at a seventh grade. Sometimes I actually use fifth grade level um, reading level just because we want it to be easy and simple to understand, not a lot of complexity. Then here, what you have is the persona that we want AI to take. What I will be releasing in the near future inside of our new AI for travel advisors group is some examples of different personas, different voices that you can use when you're prompting. And then we want to actually define what the objective is. So the objective is to create 10 down digital download ideas with three hot take titles and then the context here. I've defined what the tone is, and then I've also asked for some, uh, I've given it some additional context so that it knows what to deliver back. And then here, I've actually then are giving it the instructions. 
And then I've set the prompt brackets, and this is where you can identify your specific information so that you can customize it for you, is you can replace, you don't even have to replace the brackets, just put the words after the equal sign of your particular ideal client, what they are looking for, so what they want um, out of a trip, out of an experience, or just in general when it comes to traveling to locations, and then your specific destination. Now, I did general country instead of specific country or specific location in the country because I want to show you the difference between when we just do a country versus where Danielle said, let's do Lisbon specifically. Let's see what we get in terms of responses. And so I've also asked it to format it in a table because I'm a table freak. I like everything in um, copyable Excel format. You could just have it, you could take this part out if you don't want it in a table format, you want to just move it to a Word document, you can go ahead and do that as well. So then now what we have is we have these opt-in idea concepts. And so we now have 10. What I've done is, is we have 10 ideas. We have three titles for each of those of this particular idea, idea. a brief description we an explanation as to why it will click with your audience and then some hook and statistical information that we can use as a part of our content so i like to use stats or quotes um, on sales pages on the cover of a or like the first page of an opt-in offer or something like that. So this hook and statistical information is something I just added to the uh, prompt this morning. So now, Danielle, in the example that we've got here, you've got a you've got 10 different ideas. You have a gourmet Portugal food tour guide. And this description says it showcases the most visit local entrees, markets, and Michelin star restaurants across Portugal, tailored for rich foodies, uh, looking for unique cultural experiences. You've got a wine tasting itinerary from Portugal. We've got an ultimate, ultimate cultural immersion checklist, a luxury spa retreat in Portugal, uh, best cooking classes. Portugal art and culture walkthrough, secret beaches guide, seven day, right? So again, I did general Portugal. What I wanna do now is show you when I then limit it to a very specific location in Portugal, what difference you're gonna get. And then I'm also gonna add just a little bit more context about my ideal audience, and then a little bit more desire in terms of what they want so that you can see the more information that you give about your client and or the destination that you have the different types of results and in sometimes even better results so the more vague you are and put in if it's it's vague you're going to get very general non really non sexy kind of response and what we want are sexy things that are really going to stop the eye of our client so what I'm going to do is there's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can just copy it and redo it. But oftentimes I don't want to like scroll down. I actually want it to sort of create these versions. So what I do is I'll edit the prompt and instead of making more conversation, I will edit the prompt and that will give me a second version of the prompt's response. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to put women over uh, rich aunties who are looking for some adventure and have never been to um, an Here, little culture. I want, want, uh oh, want them to have often that inspires them to want more. 
And then I think you said Lisbon was the place. So Lisbon, Porto. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to change this from a general Portugal to a very specific Portugal. And then click send. And then what I want you to notice here is you see this, ver this like two of two. So while this is doing its thing, I'm going to let it finish. And then we can go back to the original and we can see version one and then we can flip back to version two. So that way you're not losing uh, your versions or having to scroll all the way up. So I do like to edit the prompt as opposed to just iterating down here, particularly if I'm changing like the prompt information. Now, let me just make sure that that's clear. So I think it's done uh, doing its thing. It's still thinking, it's still doing, um, because uh, I'm going to flip between the two so you can see what you got the first time versus the second, just with a little bit of tweaking of the words that you're using um, and the additional context. So we did two things. If you missed that, we changed the location, not just general Portugal. We identified a specific location in Portugal. And then the second thing, we added some additional context to our ideal client so that and also let them let ChatGPT know that we want more and like we want people who've never been there or looking for a European experience so that they will be inspired to want to click on this said offer. All right, so it should be done now and it is. All right, so let me remind you of what we originally had. So the original response, we got a gourmet food tour guide. We got wine tasting itinerary for Portugal ultimate cultural immersion checklist that's in version one but then when we click here in version two um we now see that we've got an ultimate food foodie guide which i like the foodie guide because let's say danielle which she knows that she's going to be selling portugal in the future but what she wants are leads. She wants people who are interested and identify themselves as a foodie, right? And so making it general enough and not just Portugal allows her to get people on her list that are of the kind of client that she wants. And then inside of the guide, she can mention European or other locations that are really great for um, her foodies to love, okay? So this ultimate foodie guide, here are some names, eat your way through Lisbon in 48 hours, love that. Portugal's secret foodie gems, a rich Ani's, I like this, a rich Ani's foodie dream, Lisbon edition. I love this. I actually love this one because it could then be Lisbon edition, then it could be the France edition, the Africa edition, it could be all these different, like, uh, you know, you know, you know, Danielle, how I am the idea chick and I love like ideas. So creating sort of an ongoing series around the world of these foodie and culture dream, like doing a newsletter, a quarterly magazine. There's all sorts of things that you could do here and you can use ChatGPT to help you do that. All right. So then this is a description of the top foodie spots in Lisbon from Hidden Gems to Michelin Star Restaurants. Uh, women, you know, foodie want to immerse themselves in new cultures through cuisine. This guide gives them um, insider tips on what to do. Did you know that Lisbon Michelin uh, has more Michelin star restaurants than any other Portuguese city? I did not know that. Um, always fact check to like, <laughs> this is definitely like um, some people that need to be uh, fact checked. You definitely need to fact check uh, just to ensure that uh ChatGPT or your AI of choice is not making up a, a phantom information. So um, cultural immersion checklist, 10 must see cultural spots in Lisbon. You know, again, even if it wasn't Lisbon, I know that you're selling a specific destination. I may say multiple locations that I intend to sell over a period of the next 12 to 18 months. I would say, you know, the best cultural desk, you know, what does it say? See um see my 10 stop uh 10 most must see cultural spots in you know europe if that's where i was doing or the hottest in uh, this location so portugal you can do it by specific location maybe a region if you know that you're going to be selling multiple regions so even bigger than just your destination your one destination if you know that you've got several destinations that are coming up 
This guide speaks to the love of the culture. Then we've got hidden wine tasting uh, trails, luxury staycation planner, love planners, art and architectural tours. So these are going to appeal to the cultural uh, component of her ideal client, exclusive shopping guide, culinary class directory, love the directory idea, um, solo travel safety checklist, love that wellness retreat guide, Portugal best festivals, right? So these are all great opt-in ideas. The name of the game, ladies and gentlemen, is speed to market. You wanna get leads in your travel business and you don't have a reason for people to raise their hand. Your trip in and of itself is not enough because they don't know you. So if you're trying to attract strangers, to your business, let's start with an offer that gets them to say, yes, I'm interested. And so these ideas are great starting points. I would take one of these ideas and then I would move to step two. We don't have time to go over step two today. We will do that in a future training. But actually what I want to just tell you is the next step in the guide is you pick one of the options and then you plug that into step two. The prompts in the guide that you get to download are really building upon each other. So the first thing is to get the ideas. Then once you select the ideas, is then to get an outline. And then from the outline is then to get the con is to actually create the guide, the checklist, or whatever it is that you've selected. And then from there, we create the sales page and the email marketing um, series. So listen, I've got just a few minutes to answer some questions. Let me stop sharing. There are questions out there in the internet streets. Um, and it is my hope that you guys come up with some great leads. Listen, the name, like I said, is speed to market. You want to be able to quickly get your idea out of your head on paper and in front of your ideal client. And then we want to push that in front of traffic. So once I get the idea, I build the funnel. What I want to do is then I want to push that funnel in front of as many of my ideal clients as I want. So that's a whole traffic conversation. But right now you want to get leads right away, create an offer that's going to attract them knowing what your future offers are in the, uh, let me re-say, where you say that create an offer with your future offers in mind. That's sort of a tongue twister, right? But hopefully that makes sense. Like don't create some random offer. Don't create some random guide, right? Like, you know, a packing list for cruises. <laughs> if that's not what you're selling, right? You want to create an offer that's connected to the promotion that you're going to do in the next couple of weeks or the next month or the next six months right? You want to create offers that are going to get your ideal person raising their hand high and mighty and be like, that's me. So for Danielle, she's got foodies, she's got culture, she's got 50 uh, year old or um, higher or older, higher, <laughs> older that are no kids, got the money, they're rich aunties and they want to get out in the world. So creating content that's specific to them and what they're interested in is the way to go that applies to you all too now i just posted inside of the group yesterday if you are struggling with your ideal client go check out the featured posts inside of our facebook group our new facebook group so i'm going to post it again our new facebook group is ai for travel advisors, come join us inside of the group because I'm going to be doing and I will encourage lots of prompt sharing inside of the group ways for you to utilize prompts to make the problem of getting content a thing of the past for you. Like, I don't want you focused on racking your brain over what to say. What I want you to do is I want you to get out what you have to say as quickly as possible to your ideal client so that they can start clicking and you can start engaging with them in a powerful way and then start dropping your promotion. If you're not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. 
If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now. Go to sundaygardener.com. Thank you.